question for the champion, Jamal. How you doing, bro? What's your question? Um, thanks for speaking on, you know, using your, your platform here to address the Breonna Taylor situation. Um, I'm taking you at your word and what I'm hearing. Would you be disappointed in yourself if this goes the distance on fight night? You say you want to fight, so I, I don't see nothing other than that. Bro, I just want to fight, bro. Like, I don't know what you're asking me, bro. That's that's the, like, if it go the distance, it go the distance. If it, if it don't, I'm, I, I'll do what I got to do. Like, it's, we, like, we boxers, bro. We here to entertain and provide the best, you know, uh, skill in the platform that we have. You know, I'm able to use it. And, um, you know, the cops should be arrested. And that's, you know, I stand for that, like, you know. Um, we've been fighting for a while now, like, and we're tired of it. At this point, we getting tired of it. Us black fighters getting tired of it, too. So, but it, this fight is not about race. It's about police brutality and uh, injustice. All right. Thank you, Reggie. We're going to take one more from Carlos Toro. Carlos? Should be able to unmute here and go ahead. Thanks, everybody, for taking time to talk to us. You know, uh, first question to Andre Rosier. Uh, you know, obviously, Dario Vianchenko has been in the ring with guys like Triple G and Danny Jacobs, and he's been knocked down in both of those fights. And obviously, Jamal is a very, very strong puncher. When it comes to sort of preparing for Jamal and his power, what is what are you guys kind of doing that's maybe perhaps a little bit different or looking back on those two fights to sort of kind of Try, their, try your best to sort of avoid getting knocked down uh, in this fight. Well, I'll tell you something. You know, the easiest way to avoid getting knocked down is not to get hit. <laughs> That's the e I can't say it any cleaner than that, no, any more precise than that. He can't, he can't get caught uh, with shots that, that could lead to him being knocked down. And I've been working on him uh, not being as slow a starter so that he can get into the rhythm of it. Um, once again, these both of these young men, they I mean, they could punch. They both could punch. Uh, I know. I, I've watched them. I watched Jamal fight. I'm, I'm training Sergey. They can punch. So they have to be on point. They have to be wary. They, uh, they have never been knocked out, either one of them. So I don't expect that to be the case. I'm expecting 12 odd rounds of let's get it on. So we prepare for that. I'm not preparing him for, oh, I'm worried about the first round or this, that, and the other thing. I'm preparing him to not get caught with anything that could be detrimental. And I'm pretty sure that's the modus operandi for most anybody that's training fighters. You don't want your guy to hit as he's scoring points. So we're going to do what we have to do to maintain that, that game plan. He's going to be doing what he has to do, sticking, moving, fighting, if they have to go to war, they'll go to war, but I'm pretty sure they're going to go to war and look at each other and say, we got to go to war again. But like I said, he won't have any issues with that. Sergey, you know, obviously with this being your third world title fight, you kind of look at this with a little bit more urgency to win this fight and kind of get over the hump, and, you know, as you kind of came in very, very close in the fights against uh, Golovkin and Jacobs. Ну, я, 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 я не думаю об этом. Я сконцентрирован на бой и сконцентрирован на, на 26 число. И я буду выходить в ринг для того, чтобы забрать пояс. Yeah, I'm not focused on that. I'm just focused on the opponent and the date on the 26th and what I have to do. And the goal is to go there and take the belt from him and take the belt home. A quick question for the champ. You know, Jamal, you were talking about uh, you've been pretty much in the gym since February. You know, how anxious and how excited are you to sort of finally just end all the time in the gym just to finally get in the ring for, for a big, big fight? I'm, uh, I'm focused, you know. I'm focused. I'm, uh, I'm locked in. Um, I'm watching all his mistakes. Uh, you know, uh, just as well as he's watching mine, like, you know, uh, styles make fights. So this whole time, you know, I've been set. And my, my mind frame is telling me, you know, that, uh, you know, I'm going to have to fight 
very, very hard. Just just like Jacob Blake had the fight, he got shot seven times in the back. And, you know, he, he got up and, you know, he made it through. So for sure that I know I can do that too. I'm motivated. I'm motivated at this point. You know, and I, I, I just can't wait to be able to, you know, deliver something special to you guys who, who, who rock with Lions only and rock with Big Charlotte himself. Thanks, Jermel, and well said. And uh, thank you so much wow. for talking about uh, uh, talking about Brianna Taylor and Jacob Blake. And thanks to everyone for talking. And best of luck to the both of you. Yes, Carlos, thank you, and thank you, Jamal. Thank you, Ronnie Shields, Andre, and Sergey. Uh, Brian Custer, you have anything? To finish up. Uh, yeah, I was just going to say no. I guess no one does a press conference like the Charlos. Maul, you're too young. What do you know about a Delorean? You're too young, bro. But <laughs> no, they know about uh, a Delorean, you know. man. You know, you know, uh, you know. I'm the future of boxing. You know, bring back to the future. <laughs> no uh, one right. does something. Hey Brian, I want to know how he got it in the house. <laughs> I know exactly. I'm, I'm telling you, no one does a press conference like the Charlos. That's unbelievable. Uh, by the way, Maul, before we let you go, we got your brother's uh, press conference uh, coming your way tomorrow. You want to give a one word? What do you think about that fight against Rosario? Um, um, you know, you know when you when you, when the Charlos fight, you know, get your popcorn ready. You know, it's gonna be a big fight. You know, me, you know, my Baltimore brother, Baltimore brother hit harder than me. <laughs> <laughs> there you have it. Uh, the WBC uh, middleweight champion of the world, Jamal Charlo, the number one contender, Sergey Derevchenko. Gentlemen, appreciate your time. Best of luck. Looking forward to seeing you both in the ring on the 26th. Andre Rozier, uh, Ronnie Shields, two of the best gentlemen in the sport of boxing. Thank you, and good luck to you both as well. Thank you, everybody. And Thank stay you, safe. Ryan. Absolutely. Uh, folks, there you have it. Again, this is going to be a unique night on September 26th because it is what we're calling at Showtime Pay-Per-View a double main uh, event. You've got Jamal Charlo, taking on the number one ranked contender and Sergey Darian Vinchenko. It all comes your way at seven o'clock Eastern. That is four o'clock Pacific time. You got three fights. That is the main event uh, of those three fights. There will be a short, a 30 minute intermission. And then you get three more fights uh, later in the evening with Jamal's twin brother, Jamel Charlo, taking on Jason Rosario in a unification fight as well in the other main event. It is a night that you don't want to miss, brought to you by Premier Boxing Champions on Showtime Pay-Per-View. We certainly appreciate you all for joining us here for this press conference. Make sure you join us again tomorrow afternoon for the press conference, the official press conference of Jermel Charlo versus Jason Rosario. I'm Brian Custer of Showtime Championship Boxing. Thanks for watching.